In nature, we find three patterns of dispersion, random, uniform, and clumped. An example of random we find is dandelions, the weed that spreads at the rate that rabbits reproduce. Uniform, an example is penguins and their territory mafias. And last, there is clumped, lemmings who live and die by the clump life. Here we have an example of uniform dispersion. This type of dispersion is defined by a tendency for individuals in a population to be evenly distributed. As previously mentioned in brief, penguins are often found uniformly dispersed. Each individual in a colony is protective of their specific territory, leading to even separation between neighboring birds. In other cases with mobile organisms, this type of dispersion is caused by an ability of a species to survive anywhere in that specific habitat resulting in resource use that is best utilized when the individual is spread out. Here we have a clump dispersion pattern where individuals in a large landscape are found tightly clustered together. This is the most common type of dispersion in nature and can be demonstrated by a population for several reasons. For bison, in the wild, clump dispersion is the result of patchy resources and protection against predation. In this particular case of being enclosed within a large area, the bison clump together primarily for social reasons, as there is a very minimal threat of predation and plentiful resources. In random dispersion, individuals of a population are found randomly within a given habitat. For plants, this sort of dispersion is often the result of seeds being carried by the wind and landing randomly, leading to new growth, popping up anywhere that the necessary resources are available. For this type of dispersion to take place, a species must be able to survive and utilize the resources anywhere in the habitat without being affected by the individuals of the same species.